say hi? Yeah. What's, <laughs> what's this video? This is more infertility. Oh, so yeah. a video without me. Yeah. Alright guys, love you, bye. <laughs> Good day my beautiful people and welcome back to the Gray and Jay family. If you are new here, please mash up that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell because we are trying to do two videos every week. So to my family, friends, new subscribers and returning subscribers, we are so sorry, Grayson and I, for not putting out video for the past two weeks. We put like one video week before last and no videos last week. I almost thought that this week was also going to be a bummer. But um, in light of this COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic, Grayson and I was trying to figure out what is a great time to talk about our slash my trying to conceive infertility journey trying to get pregnant and have a baby listen things happen for a reason I wasn't able to do videos for the past two weeks I didn't know how to bring and tie this topic to bring it into the channel because we were more focusing on trying to introduce ourselves to you guys get you guys to know us a little bit and our relationship I didn't find it appropriate to do pranks because of in light of all that is going on and people are sick and trying to get better we just wanted to have like more personal videos and lay off a little bit on the challenge videos and we haven't even branched off into doing prank in light of that i am going to try to either make this one video or make this a two-parter video for more content and at the same time it's going to tie in with the theme this week is national infertility awareness week why not share my story with you guys and my plans in this week's video so let's just get into it i was pregnant for a total of two times last year last year was not the best year for Grayson and I I am 35 years old and last year I had two miscarriages yeah my birthday is February the 25th and it was coming down to February and I was like you know what I still haven't seen my period I don't have any signs or symptoms of pregnancy, but let me still do a pregnancy test, you know? But I was so afraid that it would have been positive that I didn't do the pregnancy test. I was like, you know what, let me just do it closer to my birthday. So just in case I'm pregnant, it would be a nice big surprise, birthday surprise to me. And the, I don't know, the week of the 14th to the through the 20th I was just panicking so I was like you know what I wasn't working I keep sweating I was like I don't know what to do so I confided in one of my co-workers I was like you know what I know too she's like yeah you have to do that pregnancy test let's do a pregnancy test so I ended up coming home that morning went to, to, to the nearest pharmacy got a, a pregnancy test took the pregnancy test I am glad I did it when I did because I was sweating bullets I was panicking I didn't know what to do the pregnancy test was positive so um, I was like okay now I know that I'm positive let's prepare I made a first thing appointment went found out I was six weeks pregnant yeah through that process and I was so excited because that was my first ever pregnancy scare positive pregnancy in my entire 34 at that time years of existence um, I've had other relationships but I've never gotten pregnant I've never had a pregnancy scare I just had irregular period and um, going back a little bit further I have PCOS which is polycystic ovary syndrome I've had it for my entire life got it from my mama my mother also had polycystic ovaries and I think my sister has it too it's a whole hereditary thing 
Um, so, found out I was pregnant. Couldn't wait to surprise Grayson. Had this whole surprise thing in plan. Did a whole video surprise Grayson. Grayson whole face turned red. And then a week later, boom, miscarriage. So I had a miscarriage at seven weeks. Um, it wasn't really hard. It wasn't that hard for like I wasn't too emotional because remember even though I was at the time when I got my miscarriage I was seven weeks I only found out one week so I didn't have a lot of time to like soak it in and get like a major attachment I mean I only knew I was pregnant for one week the doctor said why not wait a month like wait for one cycle to pass and you can try again so one cycle passed in the ending of March into April and I think the reason why we got pregnant right away again right after that period is because I was sad and I got pregnant again wanting to be pregnant because I had a miscarriage but I think it was I purposefully engaged in sexual activity with the sole purpose of getting pregnant to fill a void of the miscarriage that I had the first time. In April, during my whole check in my cycle, when it is I ovulated, I did the, we did the deed and boom, two weeks later, checking my my arm, um, doing a pregnancy test. Grayson and I were pregnant again, so you know we were we were super excited. I told Grayson, let's not share it with our family the second time around until let's say two, three months in because we don't know what would happen. Grayson was over the moon and he just wanted to share it with people. So he shared it with his family, his immediate family, his sister, his sisters, his brother and his mom. I didn't tell anyone about my second pregnancy, not a soul other than Grayson um, so we knew right away when we got pregnant because we were tracking it we were tracking every single day and I watched that pregnancy test until it was saying negative 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 until it said positive as soon as I saw positive I called my doctor hey I saw for this positive pregnancy test and we went from there I was getting symptoms I was getting signs symptoms tender boobs tiredness all the jazz and I was excited and I was like okay this one is a real pregnancy because I'm getting all these symptoms when I was telling Grayson I feel good about this one it's gonna happen and so at the point of seven weeks I told my brother and I told him that you know I was pregnant and he was like okay I'm happy for you you know just take it easy you know don't stress yourself too much make sure don't change the cat litter and he was encouraging but then in the middle of seven weeks a bit I started to spot so called the doctor went in he's like okay there's not really much major concern it um he just monitor the bleeding and if it is you start to bleed please go to your nearest emergency department all right and at eight weeks I the pain was unbearable I went to the hospital where they confirmed that I was actually having a miscarriage yeah so that was not what I was expecting on the second pregnancy thank goodness for the insurance that I have through my job the fact that I had two miscarriages within one year um, it sh showed that there's a problem and my insurance covered all my tests to find out what was going on with me and my body they got me signed up, made an appointment with an infertility specialist. After a bunch of tests, blood tests, blood work, what we found out is that, I'm not even going to get into all the medical terms, but what we found out is that my body, yes, Jan, I used to make jokes. Listen, I used to make jokes when people be like, what, you're 24 and you're still in pregnant? I'd be like, yeah, because I have that hostile uterus, you know, nothing can go down there. Listen words are powerful 
words are powerful. So let me tell you what my body was doing, right? My body was taking the fetus as a parasite and creating blood clots, restricting oxygen and the sufficient nutrients to the fetus and preventing it from developing. Yep. That's what my body was doing. With all that said, <clears throat> fast forward into present day, I am currently not pregnant. I have had two miscarriages, no live births, and I have no children. I mean, it's not something to smile about, but I smile. Any of you guys that know me, I smile all the time. That doesn't mean that I don't take things seriously. I just, it's easier to smile than to be sad, yeah. And you know, I got some, I got some nice cheeks for smiling. Why not? That's my miscarriage story to share with you guys to open the topic of infertility, trying to conceive my my experience and my journey. Please, guys, if you guys would like to follow Grayson and my journey in trying to conceive and grow our family please hit that subscribe button and follow our journey we will keep you guys posted as best as we can during this pandemic all right have a good one guys love you bye our life our love our, our story, story.